When you have a bad habit, say pornography, say adultery, extremely bad. In the case of adultery, major sin. In the case of pornography, minor sin. But it's still a sin. And I want to tell you something. When you have a bad habit of this nature and you want to eradicate it and you have told yourself no more, a day will come when you might slip up again, right? You might drop again because you know what? You're a human. On that day, don't think, ah, I blew it. That's it. Now I'm back to my old ways. You're not. You're not back to your old ways. No. If you blew it one day, at least you did better. You used to do it every day before. Now it happened today, but you're going to turn back to Allah immediately and say, you, you seek forgiveness once again, and you're not going to do it again. And you stop it. So the gap between your falling would be bigger and bigger until a day will come when you will totally stop it. You get the point? Shaitan makes you lose hope. So if you said right from today, I'm not going to commit the sin anymore. And a month later you dropped. Shaitan says, you see, you're back to where you were. So then you're going to, you, Shaitan might make you say, well, it's okay. Now I'm just going to go back because you know what? I'm too weak and I, I just can't do this. No, you can. You can, you will, you shall and you must. If you fell a month later, get up, seek the forgiveness of Allah. You might fall six months later. How's the gap? Bigger. Is that an improvement? It's like smoking three cigarettes from 30. You see, big improvement. After that, you might fall a year later. What happened? You must get up immediately and promise Allah that you're going to stop it and you're not going to do it again. That's the condition. Then you can eradicate that bad habit. Otherwise, if you're going to give up every time you fall, we all fall. We all fall, myself included. We are human beings. We will fall. Allah wants you to be dedicated. If you missed one salah, does it mean you must stop all your salahs? No, you might miss it. Even if you are regular with your salah, you're a human being. The Prophet says you may sleep a little bit sometimes much and you might not realize that the time of salah has crossed. As soon as you get up, fulfill your salah. Or you might suffer with forgetfulness at a time. It's possible you were busy doing something and you forgot. That's a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Whoever sleeps over a prayer or forgets a prayer should fulfill it or should do the qada as soon as they remember, as soon as they can. It's a simple hadith. He didn't say that's a bad person because you're a human. But the point I'm raising is in the same way when you are trying to get rid of a bad habit, you might falter somewhere down the line. Don't let that be a means of you giving up, but rather get up and continue for longer without that bad habit in the same way that if you were to miss a salah, you won't just throw in the towel and say no more salah for me because I missed one, but rather you will make sure you do the qada, you seek Allah's forgiveness, you continue further and you try your best not to miss a salah. Perhaps years will pass and you wouldn't have missed a salah. May Allah keep us all strong. So these are some ways of eradicating your bad habits. And remember, your body gets tuned to something that you tune it to. So tune it towards Allah, not away from Allah. If you have a habit of anything, be it weed or whatever, you need to convert it to something good. Start developing a habit of tajweed and inshallah you'll be okay. Right? You need to change it with something. The Quran. I sit and sometimes I listen to recitals that people send me online or on YouTube or elsewhere of amazing boys and girls from across the globe whose recitation is so beautiful that you can listen all night and you'll still be mashallah, mashallah, amazing, beautiful. What about us? When you hear a good recital, pause it for a moment and try to repeat it. No matter who you are, you can be an old person. The only problem is if you smoke too much, your throat might be a bit croaky. But that's okay. You can read beautifully, mashallah, beautifully. Try and imitate it. Allah will be pleased with you. Imagine you're trying to read the Quran. I'm doing a good thing. It's okay. Have you tried it? Read the Quran in a melodious voice. Try it. Because on the day of Qiyamah, Allah is going to ask you to read. You can't just look up and say, hey, you know what? Uh, I can't. You can. Have you memorized a portion of the Quran? The answer is yes. 